yeah good day team so here you see the dump truck unit ready on our table so as you see here this is the load display unit which can be which will be fitted in the driver dashboard the operator will be able to see the load with this unit and uh, rear you have connector so the matting cable for that unit is here so this connector will go on the back side of that uh, uh, load display unit and you have connectors in the front side which we will be explaining you this is the master control unit master control unit you know it has inputs of all the hydraulic sensors body up signal dump brake neutral brake rs232 all the connectors are available with the master control unit matting cable so the detailed explanation of wiring will be given through a wiring diagram this is the dual axis tilt sensor this should be welded on the center of the chassis and this is its matting cable and this is the hydraulic sensors which should be fitted in the uh, suspension cylinder of the vehicle so four suspension cylinders four sensors are there and there are matting cables uh, to connect uh, with the sensor and the other side to the master control unit so this will be the overall parts supplied along with it you will be having input output cables on cable details we will be giving you a wiring diagram so that you will be clear on how to do the uh, wiring after this video we will be seeing how to do the calibration in the system hello team right now we will see how to calibrate this dump truck load monitoring system as you see here we have connected all the uh, hydraulic sensors angle sensor master control unit with the load display unit and we have also connected the entire system to the pc and we have pc software for this also the mode of communication between this system and pc is rs232 to usb cable we will be supplying you one uh, sample piece with this uh, shipment for your initial understanding so right now i will switch on so i am giving 24 volt supply to the system so as you see here the system has been switched on so dump truck version 2.3 so initially it will take time to boot to the main screen so as you see here it is uh, running on the test mode where it checks all the internal functions now it has gone to the main screen now it has gone to the main screen so right now we have connected the entire test setup so this is the pc software as i told you earlier so this is the main home screen of the system first we need to check our communication status so we'll go to serial port what is the serial port which we are using you have to select and you have to click store so post it we have to go to setup in setup these are all factory set so the user name these are all factory set no need to disturb this left side in the right side based upon your maximum tonnage you can set in which ton green light must be on amber light must be on red light must be on so this setting you have to do based on the maximum capacity of vehicle once you click everything you need to press store so it will update the entire information in the master control unit now everything is done so you have to close now you go to the home screen test mode before doing the calibration you have to check if all the sensors are communicating to the system so as you see channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 which is front right front left rear right and rear left and this is the input status 
so once we the pressure is not connected it will show as under range which means the system is at some error you have to properly connect now once the pressure is up it is now showing no error so right now in the right hand side you see as input status so you need to provide engine on signal neutral signal body up signal and parking brake signal so these are all 24 volt direct supplies so you have to give to the open end wire provided uh, with our system so that you could check it in the test mode once you check all these parameters and everything is communicating properly now you can proceed to calibration now let us see how to calibrate the system so calibration we have menu in this you have three load speed and in kilometer in kilometer has already been factory calibrated you need not uh, change the values in it we will see how to calibrate the load once you click load all the details come here here you see milliamps from the hydraulic sensor is getting dumped so you need to place your vehicle empty over a flat surface and you need to just click this button so as you see here it has got updated right now the empty vehicle has 4197 uh, counts which is uh, another unit of uh, measurement then you have to load the system the vehicle has to get loaded so on the top left hand side you don't see these are all before calibration uh, older calibration values your system might show something uh, else so you need not focus on it you just focus on the load after loading so right now we have loaded for uh, 100 tons so 100 so for 100 tons my value is 6501 this is just uh, factory settings once everything is done you have to press store so once uh it uh, shows as uh, so right now now if you see on the top left hand side it shows as 100 ton. now only the system is properly calibrated and right bottom side also you are able to see 112 2022 last calibrated on 1253 so this is the complete calibration process once if it is successful you can you know close it then you have to get into speed in speed this multiplication factor and shaft radius are almost equal you can check it up with the manufacturer of the vehicle pulse per revolution alone need to be adjusted based upon the uh, speed which we see on the dashboard once you adjust it and uh, store it speed also will get dumped so load calibration and speed calibration both have been completed in kilometer has already been calibrated yes now we have completed the calibration pro pro process of the entire system and once you calibrate the speed you will have speed input there too so this is the test setup so as you see this is the driver display unit as you see here 100 ton we have calibrated the load is still on the system is showing you as 100 ton this is the calibration process and we will provide you this pc software also along with an rs232 to usb cable converter for your convenience for the first time alone thank you very much right now let us see a complete trip simulated uh, in our office so as you see here load is zero ton right now now the dumper is getting loaded by one bucket so 12.5 ton has been recorded and again one more bucket one more bucket has to be loaded so 28 ton and one more bucket so 37 ton as you see once the one once the dumper is getting loaded the pressure increases the pressure displays here as weight so on the final stage 57 ton has been loaded on the dumper now the dumper is in neutral state now once the dumper moves from neutral to gear it gets an input to the system so the loading state has been converted into hauling hauling means you are traveling with load speed sensor has not been connected if it is connected it will be show the speed also will be displayed here so once it has reached its dumping point again neutral signal will come the status will change as dump as you have seen here total number of trips was 11 earlier now it has been converted to 12 so one trip has been added now the weight is getting reduced body up signal is being received to the system once the body up signal is received the weight will be dumped and you see it has come back to zero again 
now the again the vehicle moves from neutral to gear it is uh, shown as empty state right now which means it is traveling to load so this is the complete cycle of the system and right now we will see how to download the usb report so there is a pen drive provision here now we are loading our pen drive here so after the pen drive, pen drive is loaded you need to press a, press the left arrow key button if you press it up key you have to press to download all the report or left key for date wise so there is a timeout so you have to you know quickly press either up key or left key now i want to uh, download complete report so i press left key and up for all now as you see here all the data are getting transferred to the pen drive inserted in the slot so right now the copying has been completed and you are uh, free to you know remove the pen drive and put it in your uh, pc to see the data